The preferred way, what they say on their website is that you should use it to upgrade your seats or for other miscellaneous things like airline meal purchases and all that. But one hack that I found is that you can actually buy gift cards with them. Hey everyone, so today, even though my voice is kind of broken, I just want to talk about how I used the airline credit on my two Amex cards, the Platinum and the Rose Gold. So as you guys may or may not know, there is this yearly, like annual calendar year airline credit. I didn't know much about this before I applied to these cards. So I applied in November, which is actually a really good deal because I will have my 200 on my Platinum card and 100 on my Rose Gold card for the year of 2018. And then a month later it'll be or two months later it'll be 2019 and then I'll have another 200 and 100 which adds up to 300 airline credit and the preferred way what they say on their website is that you should use it to upgrade your seats or for other miscellaneous things like airline meal purchases and all that but one hack that I found is that you can actually buy gift cards with them you can't buy gift cards from any airline I've only experienced with American Airlines so I can only say about that and actually booked my trip to the Bay Area with those American Airlines gift cards. In order to activate that, you just have to activate your airline. So in your benefits section, you can see a place where you can pick your airline and then you just click on that and then you just activate it for the calendar year. And if you don't change that, the next calendar year will be the same so you don't have to activate that again. And I already did that for my rose gold card for both 2018 and 2019. So that's already set and done and I already got my credit back for my Platinum card, I am still pending on my $200. I did in $50 increments. For this one, I just did in $100 <laughs> increment, which is like the full amount, which is a risk. I don't recommend that. I recommend doing it in $50 increments. So if anything goes wrong, you just missed out on $50. For this one, I did it in $50 increments. I did it in the beginning of February. It is currently in the middle of February, the day before Valentine's Day, and I'm still, I'm still waiting for my credit, but I have high hopes that my credit will come. I have not heard of any like failed horror story on American Airlines gift cards because on there it doesn't actually say gift card, it just says American Airlines. So I have very high hopes for this and so yeah that is my little airline hack for you guys i hope you guys enjoy this video free 300 dollars okay so if you apply to these cards towards the end of the year i would say like you get a little more than your usual thing like your usual benefit but still i didn't know when i applied and it just happened to be it's each calendar year so if you applied in november and december you can get the next year's benefit sooner but even if you apply it at the beginning of the year you still have the full year to enjoy all your benefits and that includes your uber rides your 15 dollars and i think 35 dollars for december uber rides and also your $10 Grubhub delivery, $10 per month, $120 per year. So all these perks, you can still use it if you apply to these cards towards the beginning of the year. And I have direct links to apply to these two cards in my info box. I also have other perks and benefits in my info box, such as getting free money from Chase Fang. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.